The Art House is an organisation that was set up in 1994 because an artist called Pat Sutcliffe graduated from university. Unlike her peers, she couldn't find a studio for one very simple reason, she uses a wheelchair. So the Art House was set up as an organisation in some ways to find Pat a studio, but as it grew, we, we grew our membership. And we include artists with and without disabilities and we seek to support them through opportunities and facilities. So part of that is studio provision, but it's also projects, professional development. And we have 200 members and the studios have been full since we opened. Um, half of our, our artists that are here say that they, they have a disability. Um, within our membership about 28% say they have a disability and it, it varies a bit. Our exhibition programme about half say that they have a disability. So there's, a, there's an immediate take up and there is a demand from artists that they can just work normally, work in an environment that suits them all. We do get a lot of artists at the beginning of their careers who really want the, the practical support around marketing, business skills and that sort of thing. And then further up it's more one-to-one -one advice and perhaps signposting. One of my colleagues, Heather Young, is our Artist Development Officer and she runs a programme of courses and on one side of that is the business support, so it's things such as web presence and marketing, setting yourselves up as self-employed. Um, she also runs another side which is more about the creative skills, so she runs one-to-one -one support sessions with artists which might be partly about their work and partly about, I think you need to go on this course we've got running. Um, and she will also run a peer critique once a month where artists can come in and, and present their own work and get feedback from their peers. And then we have a range of art courses, so things such as printmaking courses, ceramics courses, drawing and painting courses. Some of those are open to community members of, as well who want to operate in a more social environment, but some are aimed very much at professional practitioners. We find that a lot of disabled artists, artists aren't able to access some more long-term support, perhaps through a career or something, because health takes them in and out, or the buildings don't provide the right access routes or whatever. Um, so we, we find that we get a number of untrained or artists who've done a bit of training within that formal route, and we do have a concern that as there's a, if you like, a desire that artists become more formally trained, but artists that can't access that kind of training get left behind. I mean there are some some part-time routes that people can take perhaps at Leeds University or online routes such as through the Open College of Arts which is based actually in Barnsley down the road. Um, but I, I would say that, that that is a concern for us at the moment that the general provision isn't always accessible. Um, I'd also say that within the visual arts a lot of the professional development opportunities you find about, about through social activity and that social activity perhaps isn't accessible to people with certain disabilities, um, either physically or because you know the, the nature of that social relationship isn't isn't for them. So I'd say again that there's a there's a sort of a crucial issue around diversity, and I think the the creative case for disability and inclusion in particular needs to be made more strongly, so that we see those those people represented in the skills provision that's provided.